I want to show a problem that I found with the uh, eSky uh, <clears throat> 704A heading hole gyro and some other gyros have a problem with the Walkera 7, uh, excuse me, the Walkera 2801 transmitter. <clears throat> the problem lies in the uh, fact that the Walkera 2801 um, binding scheme, basically it's binding every time that you turn it on. So you've got to basically turn on your receiver and your transmitter and then while the uh, receiver is first turned on, it's looking for a transmitter to bind. And hopefully it's uh, your transmitter that it's trying to bind with. So I've got a working uh, gyro here. Everything's uh, initialized properly. The, and what I'm going to do is uh, the, the receiver is already bound to this transmitter. If I unplug the, the, uh, the battery and then plug it back in real quick, you'll see that the light turns red on the gyro as it's initializing itself and then it's going to turn blue once it's done. Okay, so that process takes a couple seconds and what it's doing is it's, it's looking for the input signal from the receiver uh, and then it's looking at that as its center point and it's making sure that its uh, uh, sensor is stable and then it uh, initializes. I'll do that one more time. Unplug the receiver, plug it back in, the light's red and then it'll be blue when it's initialized. Okay. Now, problem is, is that let's say if I turn off the uh, turn off the transmitter, okay, and unplug the battery, when it goes through the binding process, the binding process takes so long that the gyro doesn't see a valid signal coming from the receiver, and then it goes into an error condition. So, I turn on the receiver, turn on the transmitter, and the transmitter does not bind and uh, quick enough to the receiver. So the gyro basically says, hey, I've got an error condition, okay? And even though the rest of the servos are working, the gyro is not initialized and your tail servo is just not going to work. The only way around that is to unplug your receiver, plug it back in real quick, okay? And then it'll work. However, I've seen some really strange anomalies with the other servos when I try to do something like that. Uh, I can't really explain it and I haven't really been able to uh, reproduce it, but... I just don't think that a pro a really good procedure is to um you know bind it and then unplug it and plug it back in again. Um, you don't have to go through that kind of pain with the other uh, radios. Um, once again, let me do that. Uh, let me turn off the transmitter, unplug the receiver. Okay, this time I'll turn on the transmitter first. Then I'll do the receiver. It still does it. Okay. The only other way I've seen I've been able to, to sort of trick it is if I turn on the transmitter, wait a couple seconds and time it just right, I might be able to get it to recognize it in time. No, nope, not that time. Turn it off. It's like 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Turn it on. It still isn't. Not, just not, it's just not quick enough. Um, the binding process interferes with some gyros, and I said some gyros, most notably this particular one. But I've tested a number of gyros, and if the gyro will wait basically for an infinite amount of time looking for the receiver input, then you're fine. Your Futaba, uh, your good Futaba 240s and 401s are going to be fine. Um, there's just a number of gyros that. Uh, do not wait very long, like the Tele-B gyro does not wait forever for a receiver signal. It'll declare an error condition um, and it will not initialize if it doesn't see a receiver signal quick enough. And the binding process of the 2801 interferes with some gyros and not others. So it's kind of a, a crapshoot on whether or not your gyro is going to work with this uh, transmitter system.